Ready to be trendy with the color of the year? Hold your horses and wait till you see what it is. Today we're talking interior design trends for 2021. Hey everyone, it is Allison Wall with Live South Denver, your real estate strategist and realtor for the South Denver area. It's great to be with you. Welcome to 2021 and happy new year. Let's jump right into the shock value that is Pantone's color of the year. They did not nail it in my humble opinion. And I think they know that they did not nail it because they didn't pick one color of the year, they picked two. Here's their first color ultimate gray. This is a color we're all pretty familiar with. We've seen this color before. We've seen it on cabinetry. We've seen it on our couches, on upholstery. We've even seen it on pink colors. We've also seen it here. Not the most encouraging color of the year, that's for sure. So then they throw this one our way. I think what they're aiming to evoke is this feeling. But what I see and what many others are seeing is this. I am all for a pop of color against a neutral, but this is definitely not the one I see catching on for 2021. What are your thoughts? Okay, let's talk about a more design acceptable color of the year. It is Sherwin-Williams Banner Color of the Year for 2021. It is Urbane Bronze. Now this color may be a bit dark for some people, maybe many people, but what it offers is that it is a grounding color. So it does bring something more to the table than what the Pantone color of the year is offering. That is for sure. So Sherwin-Williams wins in my book with their Urbane Bronze. And while this won't be in my home this year, I love white walls, bright, light, and clean. What I can imagine is that you're gonna see this in homes all across the country because Sherwin-Williams is the contracted paint provider for many, many home builders. So expect to see this in model homes as you're out touring this year and probably into next year as well. Sherwin-Williams also delivered four color collections for this year. So they didn't offer just one color as their standalone. Here are their color collections, and that's gonna lead us right into our 2021 design trends. So they have the sanctuary collection. These are the neutrals, the nurturing colors. Then they have their encounter collection. These are your earthy colors, kind of that global experience feel. Then there's the continuum collection. These are neutrals with pops of color. They kind of reference the mid-mod era when they put this collection together. And their fourth is the tapestry collection. It's jewel tones and a very expressive collection, so very bright. In taking my own experience, looking at what I see the trendsetters saying, reviewing what the trendy colors are for this year, I see nine trends for 2021 in design. First, travel and global inspiration being brought into the home. With travel being stilted for us in 2020 and still in 2021 with us not knowing what's gonna open up, where we can go, how long we can travel for, if we can actually travel even though we have plans. There's a lot more desire to bring the world to us. So we're gonna see a lot more of travel and global inspiration being brought into the home in 2021 and probably beyond. Vintage feel. This harkens back to parents and grandparents and warm and good feelings. But what this is is gonna be different for every person. For some, it may be a little bit of a nod to the 70s. For another, it's gonna be a cozy cottage feel. For someone else, it's gonna be a traditional feel with somewhat formal furniture. And all of it is gonna take on its own modernized, updated spin that's gonna feel very personal. We're gonna see grounding earth tones, a la Sherwin-Williams or Bain Bronze, and maybe even hearkening to Pantone's gray color that they've given us this year. These colors were actually very popular, these grounding earth tones back in the 90s. Now, I do have to say that when I'm showing homes, I find that my buyers are really not loving the warm browns from homes in the 90s that have not been updated. They still love light and bright and airy. So there's a couple of things to think about with that. One, there's a difference between designing for living and designing for selling. And two, I think that we're looking at these tones taking on a different, more modern feel. Uh, a lot of the ones I'm seeing have some pink and yellow undertones to them. Some of them take on a little bit more of the southwest hues, so there's some aquas and then those pinky beach sand tones. Maybe they'll be a hit, I'm not really sure. But you do what you love if you're gonna be in the home for a while. When you go to sell, 
you're always better off to go back to a very neutral, bright palette that highlights light and airy. Another trend is gonna be calming blues. Okay, so we've just talked about grounding earth tones. Now we're talking about calming blues. Grounding earthy tones and calming blues don't have to clash or be opposites. In fact, if you think about some sandy colors and a nice aqua blue, can bring up ideas of the beach, which for some people is the ultimate in soothing and comfort. And if you think back, what was the very first trend I listed out? It was travel and global. I can think of many places where people are gonna start putting together grounding neutrals and aquas and blues for a soothing retreat. The fifth trend is cozy and welcoming. We're talking comfy blankets, a place to put your feet up, slightly warmer colors, and that's because we've been in our homes so much more than we ever have before. But that doesn't mean cluttered. Cozy and welcoming doesn't equal cluttered because we're in our homes so much more than before. There's a longing for clean spaces, sight lines that aren't full of stuff. Those two are also going hand in hand. Trend number six is house plants and natural elements. Think greenery, texture, wood grain. A popular way to do this in Colorado is with succulents in terms of house plants. They're so easy to maintain. Succulents all have very unique textures. So you get both a textural element and a house plant element, and they're so easy to care for. And they just bring something very beautiful. The greens are very different. The textures are very different. When your succulent blooms, you get something very special. And there are so many ways to display your succulent as well, which brings a whole other component to it. So that's a really simple idea if you're on your way to Colorado and thinking about houseplants and maybe you don't have a green thumb. I do not and I love mine. Trend number seven, dedicated home offices. Yup, plural. I cannot tell you how often I am having conversations that include the need for more than one private home office space. With multiple adults living in the home and both of them usually working, or even if one is the primary income earner, the other one usually needs some sort of space to just go away, pay bills, do a craft, and have another workspace that doesn't interfere with the primary working spouse. So we're needing at least two office spaces for things to get done that the kids don't come in and get their hands all over everything. Trend number eight, more demarcated spaces. What does this mean? Well, that means not everything is a full open floor plan. It's school zone, work zone, play zone, workout zone, and relax zone. That's a lot of things for a house to do when you're in it all day long. I have seen some trendsetters say that people are looking more toward closed floor plans, separate rooms all over the house, including on the main living level. That is not what I am seeing at all. Maybe that's happening in some parts of the country. So I am just not seeing that. My clients are looking for open floor plans, lots of light, tall ceilings, vaulted ceilings. They really want wide open floor plans with lots of light. But that brings me to trend number nine, and that is multifunctional spaces. Because of all the things our home has to do for us throughout the day and throughout the week, we really need for bedrooms that can double as offices. We need a basement that can have maybe an office space in it, but not lose all the recreational space for it. We need workout rooms and playrooms. We need a kitchen that can have homework being done in it and dinner can be cooked a little bit later. There's so much our home has to do for us all week long. Hey, do you have a trend I didn't mention or thoughts on what they say is gonna be trendy in 2021? Drop a comment below, I would love to hear from you. Again, Happy New Year, wishing you the best for 2021. I look forward to connecting with you and I will see y'all next week.